hello guys welcome back to yet another beautiful tutorial video hey hey with the check cam now look at this beautiful baby i see right here on the screen aren't you excited to learn how to do it so guys on today's tutorial we're learning how to make this beautiful yellow dress you are seeing right here on the screen i'm just so, so happy and that's why i'm dancing anyhow if you snooze guys you lose so guys if you're interested in learning how to make this top please help me give this video a thumbs up drop a comment and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are yet to do so before we get started guys this top was made with crepe material you can achieve this with shirt material dodges or any other light material even chiffon and i used to yeah so please stick with me as we get started so guys i already have my basic bodies pattern you can see this for the back i have my chest line my bust point my waistline and the full length of the dress and here is my armhole you can see here and i already measured my bust measurement there and i have my shoulder measurement marked out and my shoulder slope and already covered that my armhole here and my neckline for the neckline i use three by two inches okay so now the only thing i'll have to do is to go ahead and cut out this neckline and the shoulder line so when i'm done i'm just going to place it and use it to cut out my back side so now i've already placed it on the material already folded like this so i'm just going to trace it out and cut it out when i'm done i'm going to use this same pattern to cut out my front side and you're going to be seeing how i'll be doing that So guys, when I'm done cutting out the back side, I'm going to slash this part and open. So I'll use it to cut the front side. So what I'll do is from this bust point, I'm going to slash it towards that armhole side. Okay, you see what I'm doing now. So using my marker, I'm going to mark it out like this. So following this line, I'm going to slash it open. Be careful not to cut or you're going to remain a little space there. Okay, so when I'm cutting, I'm going to slash it open like this. So now I'll place it on my material so I'll be able to cut it out. Now I've placed it, you can see what I have. If you want your neck side to fall very well, you're going to slash it open very well. The more you take it up, the more open that neck side will be. So for me, from this space, from here to here, I have about eight and a half inches, and that's okay for me. If you want your neck side to fall very well, please go ahead and raise it up. So the next thing I'll be doing is from this next side, okay, I'm going to mark out a straight line, just like this. So it works very well. I'm not covering that neck area, okay? I don't need to cut the curve it. So I'm just going to mark a straight line like this. Now I'm going to trace every other part from that shoulder line and then cut it up. But for here, I'll mark a straight line. So now I'll just go ahead and cut it out. Just look at what I'm doing. I'm following all the lines to cut it out apart from the next side that i just drew a straight line and not cover it okay so i'll just go ahead and cut it out So guys, after cutting it, this shoulder side, where the shoulder is starting, you have to notch it this way like I'm doing so right now. So you know where the shoulder is starting, okay? So after that, we now have our front and the back side. This is the back side, okay? And we are going to cut out facing for it. I've gone ahead to cut out what I'm using to pipe the next side for the back. So for the piping of the next side i'm using this as my bias you can go ahead and use your bias of the same color so what i'll do is to place it on the neck like this from the right side i'll place it this way and i'll sew it around the neck after that i'm going to fold it inside and fold it again i use it to stop stitch and that's all so for this front side i cut out facing for the front side okay if you look very well you see that i already have two material there you can see the facing there so let me move the so you see what i'm saying i have my face in place on it so what did i do i just i just spread out a material this way and i place this front side on it this way and i trace out this next side the shoulder side and the armhole and i went down a little bit 
past the armhole side and i cut it out that's the facing for the front side so now for the facing two i'm going to notch that shoulder side as well so i will know where the shoulder is starting as well this is very very important so you don't make mistake while sewing that next side and that next side is very important while sewing it so guys now i'll go over to sewing machine and sew this next side from this notched area to this side okay that's the only place i'll go ahead and sew right now so after piping the next side for the back this is what i have you can see how beautiful it is then for the front side i've sewn this next side like i just said so the next thing i'll be doing is to go ahead and notch that area when you're notching you have to be careful not to cut out the thread because once you cut out the thread you have to start sewing it again so i have to notch that area after i'm done notching it i'm going to turn it over to the right side and then iron it so when i'm done ironing it it's just going to look like this so after that when i'm done i'm going to be joining the shoulder side so for this front side i'll place it right this right side facing me and i'm going to place the back side on it right side facing right side i'm going to iron the two shoulders very well and then i'll go ahead and sew it on the sewing machine remember you are joining just the shoulder don't sew the armhole of the facing so guys after sewing the shoulder side this is what i have remember i only joined the shoulder side for the facing i went ahead to hem this side you can go ahead and do so for your own so the next thing is to attach my sleeve and for the sleeve i already cut out a sleeve using this basic sleeve pattern that i had i'll link the video so you can go ahead and watch the video if you want so i have my sleeves ready okay so now the next thing is to go ahead and attach it so i'm going to spread this both sleeve like this you know that i have sleeve i have armhole for my face and armhole for the front side okay and it's making it to there so i'm going to spread it this way so on this sleeve i notch the center side just indicate the center okay so i'm just going to place it this way right side facing right side i'm going to place that notched area on that shoulder side so it will be equal so when i place it like this now i'm having three armhole here you are going to have three armhole the one for the facing the one for front and the one for the sleeve so i'll go ahead and sew it round and then after that this is what i'll have so i'll go ahead and do it for the both sleeves so after attaching the sleeve you can see what it looks like if you look very well i did a little plating on the shoulder side this is just to beautify the sleeve and not let it be open so go ahead and create your own beauty so before i join this side i want to quickly show something on this sleeve from the wrong side i marked out a line and the wideness is about 1.5 inches and i did it on the both side so what i want to do i want to place my paper stay here I want to create if you look at this picture here you see that the sleeve on the hem side is thick so that's what i want to do i want to place my paper stay use my iron and iron it then i'm going to fold it in this way to meet that 1.5 and i'm going to stitch it straight when i'm done stitching it then i will now fold it and stitch my sleeve just to create that thickness there and that's all for this tutorial guys once i'm done stitching the both side we are done okay so i'll go ahead and do that stitch the both side and hem this hem side i think you are seeing a line on that hem side this is because my top was short and i had to add some pieces to make it longer so i'll go ahead and close up everything so guys after when i'm done this is the final final product and you can see how beautiful this top is looking if you watch to this end thank you very much guys thank you for sticking around and thank you for watching Please help me subscribe to my channel, drop a comment, and give this video a thumbs up so that other people will be able to see it. And the more you are doing like that, the more you are encouraging me to create more beautiful be uh, videos like this. So remember to turn on your notification button so whenever I post a beautiful video like this, you will get notified. See you when I post another video. Thank you.